Hi, my name is Lyra Scout, and this is a brief Wikivids video about Joseph Henry. Joseph Henry, December 17, 1797 to May 13, 1878, was an American scientist who served as the first secretary of the Smithsonian Institution. He was the secretary for the National Institute for the Promotion of Science, a precursor of the Smithsonian Institution. He was highly regarded during his lifetime. While building electromagnets, Henry discovered the electromagnetic phenomenon of self-inductance. He also discovered mutual inductance independently of Michael Faraday, 1791-1867, though Faraday was the first to make the discovery and publish his results. Henry developed the electromagnet into a practical device. He invented a precursor to the electric doorbell, specifically a bell that could be rung at a distance via an electric wire, 1831 and electric relay, 1835. The SI unit of inductance, the Henry, is named in his honor. Henry's work on the electromagnetic relay was the basis of the practical electrical telegraph, invented by Samuel Morse and Sir Charles Wheatstone, separately. Henry's interest in science was sparked at the age of 16 by a book of lectures on scientific topics titled Popular Lectures on Experimental Philosophy. In 1819 he entered the Albany Academy, where he was given free tuition. Even with free tuition he was so poor that he had to support himself with teaching in private tutoring positions. Henry excelled at his studies and in 1826 was appointed Professor of Mathematics and Natural Philosophy at the Albany Academy by Principal T. Roman Beck. Some of his most important research was conducted in this new position. His curiosity about terrestrial magnetism led him to experiment with magnetism in general. He was the first to coil insulated wire tightly around an iron core in order to make a more powerful electromagnet, improving on William Sturgeon's electromagnet, which used loosely coiled on insulating wire. Using this technique, he built the strongest electromagnet at the time for Yale. He also showed that, when making an electromagnet using just two electrodes attached to a battery, it is best to wind several coils of wire in parallel. But when using a setup with multiple batteries, there should be only one single long coil. The latter made the telegraph feasible. Because of his early experiments in electromagnetism, some historians credit Henry with discoveries predating Faraday and Hertz. Henry, however, is not credited for these discoveries due to not publishing his work. Using his newly developed electromagnetic principle, Henry in 1831 created one of the first machines to use electromagnetism for motion. This was the earliest ancestor of the modern DC motor. This apparatus allowed Henry to recognize the property of self-inductance. British scientist Michael Faraday also recognized this property around the same time, but since Faraday published his results first, he became the officially recognized discoverer of the phenomenon. In 1848 Henry worked in conjunction with Professor Stephen Alexander to determine the relative temperatures for different parts of the solar disk. They used a thermopile to determine that sunspots were cooler than the surrounding regions, but again Henry was not given proper credit for his work. As a famous scientist and director of the Smithsonian Institution, Henry received visits from other scientists and inventors who sought his advice. Henry was patient, kindly, self-controlled, and gently humorous. Henry died on May 13, 1878, and was buried in Oak Hill Cemetery in the Georgetown section of northwest Washington, D.C. John Philip Sousa wrote The Transit of Venus March for the unveiling of the Joseph Henry statue in front of the Smithsonian Castle. Well my friends, I hope you've enjoyed this brief video about Joseph Henry. Until next time, this has been Lyra Scout for Wikivents.